Airplane stall explain in a minute. For an airplane to fly and remain airborne, wings must generate lift. As the airplane flies forward, a continuous airflow passes over and underneath the wing. Airplane wing aerofoil is designed in such a way that, by Bernoulli's principle, airflow over the wing has to move faster than that of underneath the wing. This creates differential pressure between above and underneath the surface of the aerofoil. This produces lift. The lift produced needs to be sufficient enough to overcome the total weight of the aircraft. In a normal flight, as pilot pulls the control wheel, the airplane pitches up, angle of attack increases, lift increases and hence airplane starts to climb. But there is a catch. This is possible only if the airflow around the airfoil is streamlined. Angle of attack is the angle between cord line and the relative airflow. As the angle of attack increases, the differential pressure between upper and lower surface of the aerofoil increases, which increases lift up to critical angle of attack. If angle of attack is increased beyond critical angle of attack, this airflow starts to separate and becomes turbulent. Effect of this airflow separation causes reduction in lift, which results into aerodynamic stalling of an airplane. Stalling is a potentially hazardous situation involving loss of height and loss of control. Modern airplanes like Airbus models are designed to prevent the aircraft from stall by incorporating various flight control protections. In Boeing, there are stick shakers and stick pushers to provide advanced stall warning to pilots. Also, pilots are well trained to recover from an imminent stall and they are routinely tested on simulator for their proficiency to perform the recovery maneuver.